I'm going to see my new, Granny's new dog today and his name is Kenny. <laughs> Okay, so um, it is Sunday and I am not Sundaying the way that I would like to Sunday because for me Sunday is always that like day of like being a bit cosy, having a bit of family time, getting ready for the week ahead but instead I am in a shopping centre parking car park um, 15 minutes before anything opens because I've got click and collect to do from Smith's for Christmas presents um, which I can show you when I've got them if you want I also need to get some bits for Bill's girlfriend for her burr basket um, like burr cosy not I don't know what else it would mean to be honest I think it's the equivalent of a boo basket according to my son um, I've got to pick that up <clears throat> I want to get some bits for Merlin for Christmas because there's a pets at home nearby and today um, my mum and dad's puppy comes home. He's called Kenny <laughs> and that name, it just makes me think of um, South Park. But he, yeah, he's a Jack Russell Um, he's very, very cute. So they're getting him, they're on the way to get him at the moment actually because he's a couple of hours away so they've got a bit of a drive back. Um, so I want to get him something too. Um, I've got some bits to get for a brand reel which has the most amazing giveaway associated with it. So if you, um, if you don't already follow me on Instagram that's what it's going to be and it's a really really good giveaway, really good and I'm really happy that I'm able to do it. So that is that. Um, what else can I tell? Oh, Stan has chicken pox. Of course he does. <laughs> the poor boy. Um, he's got it really mildly. We are on day three now. Um, and there's, a, there's, well, I counted them. There's 13 spots and we don't seem to have any more. Um, which I know from experience when Bill and Daisy had it, Bill had it very badly. He was very unwell with it. Um, Daisy was kind of as expected um like struggled with it a little bit initially but got over it quite quickly but had a lot more spots than stan um and stan has hardly got any but it's quite interesting i was chatting to my mum about this because when i was heavily pregnant with him at christmas time ironically that is when bill and daisy got it so bill got it over christmas um he came down with it on boxing day i think it was and Daisy had it then like kind of two weeks later into January. Um, so I don't know if in some way he's got a bit of immunity to it. Not like full on, um, but he's just had it really mildly. And obviously that virus will have somehow got into my system because I was around the kids. Um, I've obviously had it before. So he um, he's doing okay. And our only hope is that we can get him back in for his Christmas play because he's really excited about doing that and he's got a line um, and everything like that so we're, we're hopeful because it's not a massive outbreak that they will scab over pretty quickly and um, some on his tummy already have scabbed um, so we'll just have to see but I'm also oh, this is the thing though because obviously he can't go to school um, which is fine and understandable but on Monday tomorrow we're having the flooring starting um, and because of the way all the flooring is the back door the utility door and the front door are all affected because the screed needs to go down and obviously screed needs to dry without people walking on it and the guy that is doing it rang me yesterday and basically said he kind of needs us out the house from nine till three which would be fine if it was just me and merlin like it would just be a little bit easier because i've got family members that i can go to um and like i could set up and work and merlin's no bother but then because i've got stan it's like how am i gonna work 
and I'm, I'm worried because I've got a brand work to do and I've got videos like this um like a lot of my work is is not paid work like I do videos like this because I want to and because people enjoy them um and they are still just as important to me so I don't want to just like give up and not do them um because it's hard um but I'm I am stressed I am I am like this whole next week is going to be intense um, because all the all of the furniture that's in the hallway, the utility and the kitchen living space, including our washing machine and dryer, has to be out of that space. <laughs> but because it's such a big space, we're not entirely sure where we're going to put them. And that's what we've got to do by the end of today as well. So um, we've got Mark's office because Mark's got the convenience of being able to go into Manchester and work. But I don't have that. Um, and obviously we can take things upstairs, but we're not going to take a full-on sofa upstairs. So we think we're going to have to put the sofas in the living room, which makes the living room really awkward because it's not a huge room. Um, and then there's like my desk to move, there's the TV unit, there's the table, there's the stools, there's the chairs, washing machine, dryer, plants. It's just going to be a challenge. Um and I just really want it sorted because we're away on Friday to watch Peter Gay and we've been counting down to this for about a year and a half um, and we're staying in Leeds and we're really excited about it but I'm fretting that the house isn't going to be in a perfect enough state for like my mum and dad for like babysitting and it's just oh you know when um, stuff is just overwhelming you a little bit um but yeah I'm just I'm just waiting for Smith's I want to go Smith's home bargains hobby crafts that's mainly for the work bits and pets at home and b&m maybe um but it's all drizzly and gray and rainy and not very nice and i don't know if i might there's a tim, tim hortons just there i might just go there and grab a coffee um i've not had my breakfast i literally came out i fed the kids this morning and had a coffee while i was at home just chilling for a little bit and then i said to mark look I'm gonna go just as it opens because already I got here 10 minutes ago and the amount of cars that are here now versus when I got here is ridiculous Um, I just want to get in and out do you know what I mean Um, so yeah come along with me <laughs> I'm being a bit grinchy today I'm sorry I'm just a bit stressed Um, I'm sure it'll be fine it all works out in the end doesn't it so fingers crossed guys there's a cube Okay, they've opened the doors, I'm going in. Okay, so I'm going to quickly show you these before I smuggle them into the house because otherwise I won't be able to show you once I'm in. So, on Daisy's Christmas list, she wanted this Fennec Fox family from Father Christmas, so we got that, and I have to say, it was a splendid choice, Daisy, because they're very cute. Um, Stan wanted a Minecraft watch, and this is actually a smartwatch. Uh, it's got a camera and stuff, so I think he's really going to enjoy that. It was under £30 just as well. And then also a minecraft clock because we are into minecraft football and sloths that's our thing and then both kids you'll see this one down here but i've also taken one out to show you have got a my puppies something or other house i don't know what it is but you basically build the house you name your puppy you close the door and then when you open it again your puppy falls out the top and into the house is like magic um, it's got 25 sounds and reactions so I think they'll love that and because they play really similarly we got them one each because they're on offer at the moment down to I think it was maybe £30 as opposed to nearly 60 or something like that um, but that's what we've got and he tied them and then also in the background here is um, what my grandparents get in them which are rollerblades and we found them from decathlon that was the cheapest place that we found in the end um so yeah that's all that and then i've got other bits which i'll probably show you when i'm inside this is probably the worst i've looked in a while in a video isn't it i'm not feeling fantastic but we will move on um right okay so we went to b&m first i pulled everything out what i will say is that b&m just compared to home bargains these days just looks so like 
unhappy. I don't know if that's just the one near to me, the one that I went to today, but the comparison was ridiculous. So I decided to save myself a trip in the end and I got some dog toys because they had some quite sweet ones. And plus, when I'm honest with myself, Merlin loves a cuddly toy, but he like loves on it and loves on it. And then just one day he decides that it must die and all the stuffing must come out. Um, and really, <laughs> cheap is probably better. So this is actually for Kenny, who is on his way home as he speaks. He will be coming to visit in a little bit, actually. Um, so you will get to see him. But I thought it looks a bit like maybe his mum or something, he's a Jack Russell, and I thought it'd be a nice one for him to cuddle with in his crate, because I imagine tonight will be a bit lonely and scary, that kind of thing. And then I also got these for Tilly and Juno. It says shake me. <laughs> well, they're a bit fun. I wish I'd got one for Merlin now. They were four pounds each, but I just thought that would be nice for them maybe they can have it as like an early christmas present we'll see what their mum says but for Merlin, i got them this giant cuddly bear and he squeaks um and i thought he would just love that because that's his thing and then also for the girls and for him i got festive cookies with cinnamon and coriander from wag um, so there's one for Merlin, which is good like as a walkie treat because they feel quite small and then one for the girls to share um, I, I'm guessing Kenny will be too little for them yet um, I've got some toothpaste because I made the mistake of buying a purple toothpaste and as you brush it turns blue I, I don't know, I think it was like a stain spotter one but every single time now my children brush their teeth, my sink looks like we've killed a smurf and I'm just, it, it's the brightest blue. It's not just like a bit blue, like some toothpaste can be. It's like royal blue and sometimes smears of purple and everywhere. So I would never recommend that. So I just picked this one up instead. And then I got some candy cane bubbles um, from Aero, but Aero, what's wrong with you? Why would you make candy cane bubbles and then go the vanilla flavor? Peppermint flavor, you already do mint ones anyway. That that baffled me. Um, and then um, I got another one of those, but that is for Bill's girlfriend. So one second, I'll get the home bargains bag. So I've mentioned before that Bill wanted to make her a burr basket and I was happy to help with that. There are, like I already have some bits and bobs already that I could put in it and um, so I've got some extras and I'm just going to get all of those out for you now and um, so the first thing I got from Home Bargains was this Sleigh Bells Super Soft Throw and it's really cute it's pink it's girly it's got candy canes on thought that would be great because the whole idea of a boo basket he said it's like a boo basket but it's like one for the colder months where you get all cozy and nice and I was like okay got it and um, so I've got some other bits I'll show you when it's all put together but another thing that I got here was just this little festive um, shower puff, loofah thing. Um, it's a reindeer one. Um, so I got that because the idea again is like bath bombs, that kind of thing. Um, I got two different types of hot chocolate. So this is peppermint flavour Belgian dark chocolate stirrers that you add to warm milk. And then a galaxy hot chocolate with marshmallow just because I thought options. Well, good. I also got her a driving gnome for Christmas because I thought that would be quite a cute addition. And then I got her some aero bubbles. I got her this festive sweetie mix because I thought that was really cute and quite nice to go in. And then I got her some little penguin marshmallows as well. And then she's got some other bits. Um, I'll try and put it together, remember, and like show you in a bit when I've got my head around everything. Then one of the kids' um, festive activities from the advent calendar is a Christmas bath, like just encouraging them to slow down and they run up to Christmas, blah, blah, blah. They also get like bits and bobs like that. 
um, but these this is like a cheaper version. So I got the Home Bargain Surprise Bath Bomb. Um, these are the ones I buy when we're budgeting and we're not like going all out and getting lush, but they have a little toy inside, um, like a squishy. And um, so far so good, like we've never had any issues with these. Um, but there are some that are like a little bit cheaper that I find they're a bit drying on the skin. So I like these ones, but just like, you know the ones that are like cellophane packaged and they're like really, they don't just, they don't look as fa fancy. They're, I find, not as good for kids or adults, to be honest. And then to go with that, I got them a um, little penguin sheet mask. Um, and we already have, like, bath bomb stuff in. Um, no, bubble bath stuff in, I mean. And then I got one of them, a, like, a loofah each, because these were only 59p. And I thought it'd be quite cute in the run-up to Christmas. So that's them, and he tied them. Um, another activity was to write some Christmas cards to your friends. I highly doubt that Bill will do this, but he can focus on his girlfriend's stuff. Um, but I just got this pack of 32, because I can't see the kids writing more than 32 between them. Um, and they were only 99p, and they are the NSPCC ones as well, so it goes to charity. And they are cute little dogs and stuff, which is very my children. And then I also got um, one of these each for the Jack Russell fam um, because I'll probably get Merlin some more bits. Um, I was just in a rush and Kenny is here today. It's his first day here as part of the big family so I want to get that sorted now. And then I got some toothbrush heads because we need them. And then finally these are self-adhesive gift tags which I thought would save us time. Um, I got some money wallets and oh yeah it was two packs of gift cap tags and that is everything. Merlin's crying at the door and I know it's because he heard those squeakers um, but yeah that's all I picked up and I just it was hell it was absolutely hell it was ridiculous how busy it was and the second I indicated to come out of my car parking spot three cars turned their indicators on to get it but I couldn't come out and let them in because of how packed it was you know like when you need turning space and I've got a really big car um because it's a people carrier and I was just like oh my god if you want my space you're gonna have to move <laughs> it was awful um I'm gonna let this dog in and I don't know I'm half tempted to give him this now because I've wound him up, haven't I? Shall I give it him now? Do you like it? Oh my goodness! Oh my god, go get it! Yay! Yay! Oh, big honey bear! It's a Christmas bear! Yeah, oh, you see, like thank you! you. Good boy! So it's been a really intense afternoon because we played the house. Sorry if you can hear my kids screaming, they are happy, I promise. Um, yeah, we played everything and tried to get ourselves organised for the week ahead. We've not really got much of a clue what to expect. I planned everything down to the activity calendar being tomorrow. The kids can choose what we have for dinner because we're, the likelihood is we're probably going to have to eat like out or take out or something like that just to make it easier because we're not really sure what the situation is going to be and um, 
and I've done pat on shoes. Obviously, I've got to stand off tomorrow. I've ironed, we've cleaned, we've organised. I'll give you a little mini tour just before dinner's ready. We're having shepherd's pie um, and cauliflower cheese, although I just got a ready made cauliflower cheese and pimped it up a little bit because I just knew I wouldn't have time today. Um, but I will take you off here now and just give you a tour of what the house is looking like. Okay, so starting in the kitchen, Daisy and Stanley are really hyper, sorry about that. Um, we've got nothing but a dog really in his bed. Um, my desk is gone, sofa's gone, telly unit's gone, um, table and chairs have gone, and then into the hallway with the screaming banshees. She got a scone, TV unit is gone. Um, and then in Mark's office, because obviously this won't be changed, this is basically what it looks like. That's a sofa on its side, sofa cushion, shoe box, telly, wrapping paper box, unit that is normally in the hallway, like desk chair. There's, it's rammed, which is why he is working in Manchester this week. Hi hey, Mill. Mill and has been like, what is going on? Um, in here we've moved the uh, tree back, we've got the lamp out of the kitchen, moved our little table from there to fit the small little chair from the kitchen in. Poof is in here. We tried to make it so at least when we're at home, at night time we have somewhere to sit and it's not too overwhelmingly like full of stuff. Like we can work with this, let's go with an extra chair or anything. And then through here is obviously the kitchen again. But the utility, I'm doing like as much washing as I can. But like the plants are in here, laundry baskets are up there, dog things are up there. We've already removed the washing machine, we're waiting for the dryer to finish. We've still got some clean stuff that needs to go in there, so it'll be a while yet. And then the table and chairs for the kitchen are out under this like awning bit that we've got at the front, so they're all out there. And then in the garage is the washing machine, my desk, loads of crap on the other side of that, which is lovely. That's a mould patch from when the flood happened, isn't that lovely? <laughs> um, so that's all in there and we're hoping that by the end of the week it will all be sorted but for now we're going to have shepherd's pie and tackle all that laundry and attempt to have a relaxing evening because I think Mark and I have deserved it. Yes, you're half mum. time. 